Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna fix uh, issue uh, connection fail access denied by the user root localhost using password. This error happen when your PHP code try to connect to the MySQL, and uh, the MySQL uh, reject the request. So that's the reason that uh, uh, the site show the connection failed, right? So we will fix uh, this issue. So first, I'm gonna create a new folder inside uh, the Zim. So I'm gonna click on application, and uh, this one is the Zim folder. So I'm gonna click on Zim, and then I'm gonna click on HT Docs. And let's create a new folder. This has already uh, created folder MySQL test, right? So this one is my folder, and now I'm gonna open this folder in the uh, in the Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna open VS Code and uh, open the folder here. First, I'm going to select uh, the location, I'm click on ZAMP, HTDocs, and then I'm going to point out my uh, folder name, right. Okay, this one is uh, my folder name, I'm going to click on Open. I'll create a new uh, file, connect dot php so i'm gonna try to make a connection between the database and mysql and php okay so i'm gonna copy the connection uh, code so i have already write uh, this code for the uh, mysql connection right so i'm gonna copy this code i'm gonna copy it and back to the VS code and paste the code here save the code make sure the zim server is running and now it's the time to open the connection.php in the browser so I'm gonna open the chrome browser and visit so I'm gonna cancel it and visit to the connect.php connect okay so I'm gonna write here the local host and then my project folder name okay so just I'm gonna write the mysql okay look into here this one is the error fatal error uncatch mysql exception access denied for the user so this connection is not successfully established right so I'm the back to the uh, PHP my admin and let's try to fix this issue okay this one is the PHP my admin and now I'm gonna create a new database so I'm gonna click on new and type the name of the database test so I'm gonna write here test and then click on create now the database is successfully created let's back to the visual studio code and check it password so I'm the using uh, the local host so the password empty and the user root and the host name is local host make sure the database name is the same to same as uh, in the PHP my admin look into here test inside the PHP my admin the database name is test so this name is correct so I'm gonna save it and let's try to refresh so I'm gonna refresh it. Okay, now the connection is successfully established. If this video is helpful, please subscribe my channel, comment, like, and share. Thank you.